My life completely changed the moment I got accepted to study at University College Cork, or UCC for short. I left my hometown, Londrina in Brazil, crossed the Atlantic Ocean for the first time and landed in the beautiful city of Cork in Ireland. Hi, my name is Marinara and in this video I'll take you on my personal journey as an international student at UCC. This is a must-watch video for anyone considering studying at UCC or curious to know what it is like to attend a prestigious European university. From the unique opportunities to the amazing memories, I'll share it all with you in this video. It all started in 2015 when I got a scholarship from CAPES to study at UCC. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine that one day I would study abroad, so it was like a dream come true to me and I was so excited for my year at UCC. So let's go explore this beautiful campus. This is the student center, the chapel and the building where I had my English classes. And this is the most iconic building on the campus, the main pod. Regardless of the weather, it is always so beautiful, not only on the outside, but on the inside as well. UCC has such a live campus. Some student societies organize balls, which are these fancy parties. The International Student Society organizes a range of events, including parties in the best pubs in town and trips to the best spots on the Emerald Isle. I visited Belfast in Northern Ireland and the beautiful county of Kerry with them. One of my favorite places on campus is the Mardike Arena. This huge sports complex has everything from spinning studios to swimming pools and running tracks. I continued to practice my favorite sports and discovered new ones. I really enjoyed doing volleyball, trampoline and dance. All UCC students can participate regardless of their skill level. I even went skydiving for the first time, which was the most insane experience of my life. When I completed my academic year in UCC, I had the opportunity to do an internship at a multinational company. I worked at Analog Devices European Research and Development Center. After graduating as an electrical engineer in Brazil, I got a scholarship to pursue a PhD in UCC. This time, I was based in Tyndall, which is located in the heart of Cork City. Tyndall National Institute is a leading European deep tech research center, and this is where I'm doing my PhD. 500 people work here between graduate students, researchers, and supporting staff. The buildings have a lot of offices and laboratories. We just arrived to my office. This is the desk where I spend most of my time researching, reading, writing, and coding as well. Engaging with the academic community is an important aspect of a researcher's job. I got to learn from experts in the Machine Learning Summer School, present my research at the European Machine Learning Conference, and publish a paper in a renowned Elsevier journal. My scholarship was part of a project in collaboration with the Irish Guide Dogs for the Blind. They train guide dogs for blind people and assistance dogs for autistic children. My PhD research was featured in a TV documentary about working dogs produced for an Irish TV channel. I showed how I developed machine learning algorithms to predict the dog's probability of succeeding in their training. The results demonstrate how artificial intelligence can be used to select the most suitable dogs for guide and assistance work. I had to handle a lot, from licks to presentations and press releases. Yes, I did a photo shoot with Roy Keane and we were on the newspapers for a fundraising campaign. Another important aspect of a researcher's job is to communicate science to the public. So, I participated in several public engagement events and discovered how much I enjoyed sharing my knowledge with others. I started teaching STEM subjects in schools and after-school programs. I absolutely loved every second of it. And that experience led me to founding my own startup company, Smart Edge Club. I launched the Smart Edge Club's website and created Smart Edge Challenge, 
a STEM activity program for children. It got a lot of media attention and hundreds of families completed the activities at home. After the successful launch, I prepared my application for Ignite's startup incubation program at UCC. I got to meet other entrepreneurs and learn from mentors while developing my business. I organized several camps and workshops with the help of fellow masters and PhD students who taught the programs online. Together, we taught over 5,000 kids working with organizations like Johnson & Johnson, Engineers Ireland, and even NASA. Yes, I ran a virtual field trip with NASA. It really was an extraordinary experience to bring that program to life and inspire hundreds of kids. Our latest program was funded by Science Foundation Ireland. I am so grateful to everyone I worked with at Smart Edu Club. One of my favorite things about Tyndall and GCC is the social life. I got to meet some amazing people from all over the world and create some wonderful memories with them. I'll always cherish the time we spent together. Meeting you was one of the most special things about my time in Cork. Thank you for your friendship, for not only being there to celebrate in the good times, but also to help in the hard times too. But a few years it has been, so much has happened since I got this acceptance letter and looking back now I can see how applying for UCC was a turning point in my life. So here is my big thank you to UCC for not only providing high quality education but also a perfect ecosystem for students to explore interests and develop skills. Whether you are into sports, language, culture, research or even entrepreneurship, there are opportunities for everyone. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate you spending this time with me and I hope that my story serves as an inspiration for you. So comment below your questions as I'll answer the most common ones in the next video. And also subscribe because I have an upcoming video on what it is like to live in Ireland. I see you then. Bye!